Hi guys, today I have a space themed room makeover for you that I just finished for my boys. But before I show you the finished room, let's look at some of the before video that I took before I started this makeover. I used to have a super cute play tent under that leaf. Before I filmed this video, I started taking some things out, but I wanted you to get a good idea of where I started so you can see the big changes I made. I did keep that board and batten wall that I installed a few years back. I love that feature wall. I have a two layer crown molding in here, but I did need to make some big changes. I needed to repaint all of the walls in this room and the headboards that I built also a few years ago needed to be repainted and reupholstered to sort of match the new look. And since I really needed some space themed room ideas and decor for this room, I had to figure out where I was gonna put a big feature wall for this outer space themed bedroom and what sort of decor I was gonna find if I was gonna make it or buy it. Most of it is all made and the only really big DIY in this room is super simple. I have another video showing it. Let me get this cat off the ladder and I will show you the after now of this outer space themed boys bedroom. Let's start with these two awesome canvases. So I ordered this from a shop on Etsy um, the canvas has turned out great. The material is super thick. It looks really nice, but it wasn't super expensive and you can get them in multiple sizes. So I think mine are 24 by 36. I'll link to everything in the description below just in case you need it. In another Etsy shop, I found these great Star Wars blueprint wall art prints. So it comes as just the prints. It's on really nice thick paper. Again, you can pick different sizes and you can even pick different colors. So I'm using the standard blueprint color here, but I love that Star Wars wall art. My boys love that Star Wars wall art, and I put it in cheap frames that I found at um, Ikea. So that's the Ribba frame from Ikea. While we're looking at the beds, let's talk about those awesome quilts. So I found those on Crate and Kids, and I think when I got them, they were probably the most expensive space-themed quilts that I had looked at, but I loved that every detail on there is embroidered. So I splurged a bit. I think I spent like $199 or $189 for the twin sets for those um, each bed. Right now, like the latest I checked on um, Crate and Kids, they were like $145, $150 and it said clearance. So I don't know if they're about to get rid of those, but I found three other ones on Amazon that are all under $100 that I really love. Again, I'll put the links to those in the description below. Moving over to the window, you can see that I have this really cool like medium blue velvet curtain going on in here. It's really soft and fun for a kid's bedroom to use velvet and it's super easy to clean and maintain. So I like the velvet in there. And they're really thick and they block out all of the sunlight so it makes it easier for kids to sleep. That vintage style NASA poster is from Amazon. It's for a great deal. Again, I'll link to that in the description below. But now moving on to that feature wall that I made for this bedroom. So it is a super simple outer space themed glow in the dark sticker feature wall. And all you have to do really is paint the wall in a dark blue color. I'll put what I used in the description and then apply the vinyl, extra large vinyl planets and sun. And I found some puffy glow-in-the-dark stickers on Amazon again. The longest part of this whole process is applying all of those little stickers. So just pop on your favorite podcast. In a couple hours, you'll have a whole wall done. And it looks so cool when it's glowing at night. That little astronaut and rocket that you see there, that is from Hobby Lobby, I think. It was in the craft section. Here's a look at what that wall looks like when it's glowing at night. And I did this months and months ago. The stickers still glow as well today as they did when I put it up initially. So these are long lasting stickers and they're gonna be easy to remove later. All you have to do is apply a little heat with a blow dryer and pick them off. If you want more detail about how I hung these up, I have a separate video showing exactly how I planned the layout and put the constellations up and everything. I'll put a link to that below. The fourth wall in this boy's bedroom is dedicated to the kids' art gallery, and it's super simple. All I did was paint that wall white, and then I hang all of their artwork with either blue painter's tape for all of the paper, and then any of the canvases or little bits of um, wood art that they paint, I hang with command strips. So it's a super simple way to make a kid's art gallery that pops off of that wall because the wall is white, it automatically makes all of the color stand out. So I love this kid's art wall, 
and they love having a fun place to hang up everything that they're making around the house. Here's another look at that Crate and Kids bedding that I was telling you about before, and you can see how detailed and how amazing that embroidery looks on this bed. It really makes all of the details pop off. It gives it that nice, like, sort of 3D effect, and it's just really fun bedding with lots of, like, little facts about the solar system on it, and it's just nice and colorful for a kid's bedroom. But honestly, I think this bedding is cool enough for a teen bedroom too. So if you have a space-themed bedroom for a teenager that needs bedding, I like that too. And I think they sell it in a queen as well. That's it for the space-themed bedroom makeover. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel because I have a huge closet makeover coming up for this room soon. So stick around. All right, I got to get back to DIY. Bye, guys.